Do I like Phil Woods? Yeah, I love Phil Woods. It's great. Of course. Do you have any tips on thinking like a soloist and better shaping my tone articulation? You got to copy. Don't listen to people who say that you, you know, do your own thing. You don't got your own thing yet. So you got to copy. And there's no, and also don't listen to anybody who tells you there's a right way. We can't go back in time and talk to Cannonball and Bird and see how they articulate it. So no one can tell you that. Even I, Listen, I, I saw you with Joe Temperley, the master, who was friends with all those guys. Not Cannonball. I don't think he was friends with Cannonball, but he was friends with, with Eric Dolphy. He knew he saw Train, knew him. He he was friends with Ben Webster. He was friends with with uh, uh he knew Coleman Hawkins. I don't know if he was friends, but he was friends with Ben Webster. You know, he was friends with a uh, uh, whole bunch of people out there. And I studied with him before he passed, and I got to hear all them stories from him. But yeah, man, I learned so. So even then, like I studied with him, and still, like I can only get from him. So it's kind of like what Miles Davis said about how it takes a long time to sound like yourself. Yeah, but the funny thing. There's a lot of anecdotes like that, but people don't realize is that you're always going to sound like yourself. What people mean by that is it's not that it's going to take a long time for you to sound original. It's going to take a long time for you to sound good. <laughs> That's what people don't talk about. It's, it's not that it's going to like when people talk about it, like if that Miles quote, for example, if Miles Davis is saying it's going to take you a long time to sound like yourself, everybody always sounds like themselves. From the moment you start playing the instrument, you sound like you. To be recognizable as a player requires you to have a deep understanding of the communicative aspects of jazz, how to play. You need to play things that people can understand, right? So you got to play things that people can understand. And in order to sound like yourself, you need to have a clear way of communicating all the things that you like and dislike about music. So you got to be able to you got to be able to filter that out, right? You gotta be able to like sort. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. This is what I, you don't have to play what you don't like. But I'm saying like you've gone through it enough to know this is my unique take on music. Is you know, but a lot of people for some reason just get it twisted. They don't understand that you always sound original. You just don't sound good yet. So <laughs> you know, it's this is why I keep telling people you the priority when learning music in general. We can talk about jazz here, jazz specifically if you want to improvise. But music in general, the priority should be to sound good, not sound original. You already sound original. You got to get the language. There's a lot of people that might disagree with me. A lot of famous people might disagree with me. I've had conversations with certain people where I've heard them say things like, oh, I think people shouldn't transcribe, actually. Or I think one of the problems with today's generation is they have too much language. And, like, they have a lot of merits. I think there is a lot of merit in people saying that there is a, too much focus on being correct and playing the exact language. Because I agree with that. I 100% agree that there's too many people that are just straight up, I'm going to copy this exact thing and they never branch out. But the main reason why is because they might only be practicing one thing and they're not putting what they like about the music into their playing. That's a big deal. You got to understand that. Learning how to improvise is about take is about hearing a song and saying, this is what I like about the song. And then practicing enough to where in the moment, very fast, instantly, you can communicate to somebody else who's listening to you and the people that are playing with you too, I guess, you know, like in the, in the band, communicating to those people clearly what you like about the music. So let's say, for example, you're talking about uh, you like Miles. You like Miles Davis solo on So What? You can tell me in words that you like how he uses space. You like how he doesn't play a lot of notes here. You like how, oh, like he always hits this note on this chord. Let's say you can tell me with words. How good are you at being able to tell me with your instrument what you like about that solo? So in order to create, you must replicate. Because when you're creating something live with musicians, you're really replicating the imagination you have in your head. People don't talk about imagination kind of ever. You got to be able to have an imagination. Think. You got to think very carefully. I like this thing about this this chord. I like this thing about this note. I like this thing about this this moment. At like 1 minute and 50 seconds during Miles Solo when it starts off, whatever. I, I like how the band kicks in. I like that. So I want to find a way to communicate the feeling of kicking in on the downbeat. So I'm going to play my notes in a way that's going to make it happen. But if you don't have a musical memory of doing that, you're going to be fishing for whatever. You can't just fish for random notes. The notes ain't out there or whatever for you to grab. You have to you have to take, you know, it's like the notes are somewhere at different points, right? I'm always fishing for the notes, but I know how to get into my car and drive to the destination. I know they're not coming to me. I'm like, I got to go to it. So in order to do that, you have to take that imagination that you got in your head and put it in a tune. So all these people saying like, 
you know, you, you, you stop trying to copy whatever. It's like, man, you're hurting yourself. I get what you're saying. Like, you might be tired of people. Like, you, you're concerned about the betterment of the music. So you don't want people to copy other people and just sound like whatever. Well, I agree and disagree with that. I agree that if you want music to move forward, you have to be trying new things. The, the thing that people are talking about is, like, taking risks. You need to take risks by trying new things. That's great. I love that. However, what you fail to realize is that the, the, all the old people that are saying that, you already know how to make music. You already have the ability to communicate. There's not a single person who spent their time just being themselves, never learned, never listened to music, never tried to replicate what's in their head and sounds good. No one. There's no one who's done that. You have to be able to, to take the memory. When you're communicating with somebody, for example, if you're mad, if you're mad at somebody, but you don't know how to be mad, how can you express that you're mad at somebody? Like, if you don't go, if you, you know, you don't got to say cuss words or whatever, but you say, like, dang, man. Like, imagine you don't know how to say dang to yourself. That's an expression. That's like you're getting, getting the drum and go, check it through, boom, right? Dang, right? <laughs> imagine if you don't know how to do that. What are you going to do? Make, some, make something up? This is my own thing. Uh, cloing. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so mad. Cloing. <laughs> Not only will nobody understand what you're saying, you won't know how to say it again, and you... <laughs> You communicate it to no one. Like, this is my original way of saying Clint. You can use, here's the thing. All the best comedians, they know language and, and, and culture so well. They can make up their own jokes and their own quips by knowing what people expect of them to say. That's what the best musicians do when they improvise. That's what Roy did. That's why Roy was like a modern day Charlie Parker. He was able to do stuff like that. He knew what people expected and he played his own thing. You know, you can say, instead of dang, you can be like, you know, that's why you got all these different words like, ah, fiddlesticks, <laughs> corn flabbit. You know what I'm saying? You got all these different words for dang, for the feeling. So you can make up your own thing because you know the feeling of what dang feels like. But if you don't know that feeling, you can't make your own thing. So you got to study the major players in history because it's a very abstract way of doing it that we don't, we've kind of lost how to do. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the true key to getting original it's to stop focusing on being original. It's just that simple. It's not like, I know it doesn't sound simple, but it's, you got to learn how to sound good first before you can branch out and make your own thing. And a lot of people, again, a lot of people will disagree with me about that. But I think the thing they're talking about, once again, I'm talking in circles. The thing that they might be disagreeing with is about the idea of being like a cover band, a cover musician, right? Only playing Charlie Parker's licks and never going outside of that. But I'm going to talk about that real quick too. So if you're a musician and you feel like you're playing all these licks from transcriptions, Right, you're playing these transcriptions, but you sound the same. Like you don't sound. You, I feel like I'm transcribing, and I'm not. I'm not getting anything new. I feel like I'm. I'm just stuck. Well, you're probably not injecting what your personal feeling is about the licks, right? You're just playing the stuff because you know it works, and because your teacher, your friends, or the community, or Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever is telling you to transcribe Charlie Parker, like YouTube, all all of us, me, I tell you to transcribe Charlie Parker, but you don't get it. That's because you don't like him. If you don't like Charlie Parker, you're not gonna get nothing out of it. You gotta be like, what's the magic? Like instead of thinking this note works on this chord, man, I was 12 years old listening to Charlie Parker for the first time, 12, 13, maybe 13. I had no idea what the changes, all this and that, and this and that was. I was trying. My teachers were trying, but. The thing that I heard was like, man, like when he gets to the eighth bar, there's a thing he does that makes me feel very like warm. I don't know. There's like this nostalgia thing that I get. So what happens every time I hear eighth bar of this song, I'm going to try playing that because I like the way this feels in the eighth bar. It don't matter what all this stuff work or whatever. It's just that feeling feels good there in that bar. You can do the same thing. A six year old can do that. A six-year-old can be like, I like when the drums go bang, bang on this whatever at this part. I like that, you know. Your mom, grandma, dad, whoever, cousin who don't know nothing about music, you know, they've they worked in accounting their whole life, you know, can come and be like, oh, yeah, that 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 boy there, he really knows how to play high. It's really exciting. Yeah, don't you know? You know, like, musicians are the ones that are, are so... We, we're so stuck in the mechanics, bro, that we just don't know how to like music anymore. It's so weird. We don't know how to like music. It's so sad. <laughs> so you're transcribing the feeling. Yeah, it's like we got to stop thinking so much. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm the first person that's to be very analytical and very, you know, thorough about stuff. I love research. I love whatever. But man, we're playing music, y'all. Do not forget. We cannot forget to make music. We're making music. 
It doesn't matter how high level it is, how complicated, how simple. We're making music. So please do not forget to listen to it. <laughs> you know, listen to it and feel it first. You don't need all that other crap. Just listen to it and feel it. You know? That's so true. Remember to just remembering to just practice the music because I like it made my relationship with practicing so much healthier. Yeah, that's how it should be. It's not for a grade. 